Let's look at the Staff page in Gradelink. Click on the Staff button to the left-hand side. And to the left of the screen, you'll see your list of staff members. The names shown in black are what Gradelink calls full administrators. And a full administrator has complete access to all of Gradelink's features. Names in purple are limited administrators. A limited administrator has access only to those areas of Gradelink granted by a full administrator. The names in the bluish green color are your teachers. Teachers have a special Gradelink page covering those areas within Gradelink unique to teachers. And then the name in gray is an access type Gradelink calls no access. A no access type does not have the ability to log into Gradelink. It was created primarily as a method for keeping track of emergency contact or other information for those members of your staff that are not teachers nor administrators, such as your landscapers or your maintenance people or even your directors or trustees. To add a staff member, click on the Add New Staff button at the top of the staff list. The fields Gradelink requires are the first name and last name, the access type, status, username, and password. The salutation field over to the left, when the salutation field is filled in, Gradelink will use the salutation instead of the teacher's first name on the report card. So, for example, if Thomas Edison were a teacher, Right now, he would be shown on the report card as Thomas Edison. Adding Mr. in the salutation field will remove his first name and he will simply be shown as Mr. Edison. Should a staff member leave your school, change the status from active to inactive. That will do two things. First, it will remove the teacher's name from your list of active staff. And second, it will prevent that staff member from logging into his or her Gradelink account. Full administrators have the ability to log in to any of their teachers. Just click on the teacher's name, and then in the upper right, above the photo area, you'll see Login as Teacher. Clicking on Login as Teacher will open up a new window, and you will see the teacher's grade link page. As a full administrator, there are a couple of notifications that you may wish to avail yourself of. Next to notifications, you'll see two selected. It may also be zero selected. The first item is receive copy of all communicate email. Communicate is Gradelink's email blasting system. It's available to your administrators as well as to your teachers. By clicking in the box next to receive copy of all communicate email, you will receive a copy of anything sent out using Gradelink's communicate system, even if you are not on the distribution list. Below that, 
Here's an item that says receive prospective family requests. Gradelink has a tool available to you to embed a family request form onto your school's website. To see it, click on the settings button at the bottom on the far left side and then click on the marketing tab. This code can be embedded onto your school's website and it will produce a form that you can see by clicking on the Try Your Form Now button. Parents interested in sending their children to your school can fill this out and click on Submit. Going back to staff, back to notifications. If you have this received prospective family requests checked, you'll receive an email alert indicating that a family has expressed interest in your school. To make full use of Gradelink's Communicate email system, be sure each one of your staff members has an email address in the school email field. Simply type the address in and click anywhere outside of the field and Gradelink will automatically save the information. Gradelink recommends at least two full administrators at every school reason for this has to do with security. As a security feature, Gradelink will lock out the account of anyone who tries to log in with incorrect username or password five times. When an individual is locked out, so I should say a staff member is locked out, there will be a check mark under the word lock in the upper right corner. Also, you'll see a padlock icon next to the staff member's name. Only a full administrator can unlock a staff member who's been locked out. To do so, click on the check mark under the word lock. That will unlock the teacher. Should you need to reset a password, you can do so by clicking in the password field and entering the new password. Two very important things about your passwords. First, the password must be at least six characters long. And the password must contain three out of the following four character types. Those would be uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters such as the percent sign or the ampersand. Teachers may change their passwords in their Gradelink accounts by clicking on the My Account item which will be in the upper right center of their Gradelink pages. Again, only a full administrator can unlock a staff member, and that includes another full administrator. And that's why Gradelink recommends there be two at least in every school. Should a staff member, or parent for that matter, call Gradelink requesting a password reset or to be unlocked, Gradelink will not do this. Gradelink will always refer the individual back to the school. It will then be up to a full administrator to unlock the account or to change the password. For each of your staff members, you can include as many as three email addresses and three phone numbers, as well as 
an address, and emergency contact information. Of the three addresses, email addresses, the one Gradelink uses when sending emails using the Communicate system is the email address field labeled School. Clicking on the name of any of your teachers will display that teacher's class load to the right underneath the photo area. A photo of your staff members can be uploaded to this space by clicking on the Add button. This will allow you to browse your computer, select the photo you would like uploaded, and then Gradelink will place it in this photo area. And that is the staff page within Gradelink. Next, we'll talk about the students' pages.